Okay, I found out what I missed. Shit. Hold on. Next to the door and the footprints. There should be footprints somewhere. Okay, hold on. Okay, I need to go in here. There we go. Now we open this. No oxidation. This metal arm has never been outside. It's not part of the bowling club statue. Got that. This mechanism is quite modern. All the gears are of good quality. Strange to find it in a foundry. Two large boxes which were inside the warehouse. They were taken to Bernard Marley's office. It's probable that the missing crates contained pieces of Takunuman's statue. Marley is hiding something inside his office. I'll have to visit it, but at night, and at Watson. There we go. That was how we learned about Bernard. So let's go back home. That was what I was missing. Alrighty, we are back at home. Now I'm supposed to be at home. Caitlin's up his house and playing the piano should dissipate me. Well, Holmes, I was inspired to Oh, look here. The postman has made a mistake. He's delivered a letter addressed to Miss Alice. Oh, he mistook 221B for 221C. Give it to me, oh, but <laughs> Let's first and examine this letter. I, can't help myself. I must open this letter. It was addressed to me after all. I need to turn on the gas burner first. Oh my gosh, we are doing this like Put that on. Oh. to open it with something sharp. <laughs> I love doing illegal things. I don't know if this is a federal crime in the UK. So you finally did it. You moved and settled yourself next to him. You're a bold one. He will fascinate you. But be cautious of him all the same. I am writing to tell you that I found your father's boat. Um, you can use it if you wish. You must know that your father was a brother. It was like a brother to me. If there's anything... Anyway, whatever risk it may involve. Int. And here's the perfect excuse. They delivered your ma- Oh. I was gonna go for the brush. Okay. I need to speak with Miss Alice first. She's on the balcony. Let's go talk to her on the I need to speak with Miss Alice first. She's on the balcony. How do I go talk to her? She's on the goddamn balcony. Wait, this balcony? There we go, that balcony. How about telling me why you came here in the first place? Mr. Holmes, why do you ask? I hardly think that I'm accountable to you. Since you extended an invitation to my daughter against my wishes, I believe that you are. So said the father, cloaked in all his severity. My word, you almost frightened me. You won't say that. Very well. Ask Caitlin to come home now. Oh, poor child, let her play. Such insouciance. So useful for covering up disturbing secrets. And since you intend to hide the truth from her... What? We all have our secrets. You... But don't worry, Mr. Holmes. Caitlin is a sensitive child, and I like her enormously. Alice, come back in! I can do it! See? <laughs> You're wonderful! I like to think that the feeling is mutual. We wouldn't want her to know of your secret, or for her to be unhappy. I have to go inside now. 
This is getting interesting. We talked to her on the balcony. Now let's go break in somewhere. Ah, Hopes. I entirely forgot. There's a man corresponding to the photograph who is a regular visitor at the Hospital for Tropical Diseases. His name is James Byron. Are you sure? That's fantastic. Let's go visit the ho Okay. Let's go visit the hospital. Oh my gosh! I kind of love this whole dress up thing. Let's get the doctor suit on. There we go. <laughs> I don't know why I love this so much and I just do. Now let's go to the hospital. Uh, I am very curious. I know like throughout all of like the Sherlock Holmes stuff I know you have the Moriarty character who's always the bad guy. Um, or at least I think it is if I remember right. So I'm very interested to see how all of this... Uh, this all plays out. Patients visit this department for treatment and then return home. Oh, Dr. Watson, may I help you? Hello, Ben. My colleague and I are here to see Mr. Byron. Ah, Byron. He's, he's in a bad way. You'll find him in a cubicle on the window side. It's a cubicle on the. W I like that, the windows. Dang. Mr. Byron? More doctors? Please. I just received my treatment. I need to rest a while before I leave. Let's not fuck this up. Think that's marks of disease. That that don't look like chain marks. It just doesn't make sense. I don't think there's anything. Can I stop getting imprecise? Shut up. We would like to ask you the chains don't make sense. An expedition that took place 14 years ago. An expedition. What? What expedition? You're wrong. I've never left London. Is it not you in this photograph from Guatemala? Guatemala? Jacuna man! Ah! Ah! Dr. Baird! Come here quickly, I don't feel well! Ah! What on earth is going on? Please, calm down! I'm sorry, my dear colleague, but Dr. Brunt is waiting to give Mr. Byron a private consultation. You can wait here. Well, that was weird. Why? The chains don't make sense, though. Weren't you paying attention? We have to wait, but we'll take advantage of the situation. Let's go break in. This address is almost invisible. Hospital. He recently purchased Chinese tobacco. Mr. Byron is due for a consultation with Dr. Brown. Our man passed by a circus. No, oh, you're still here. Obviously. We're waiting for Mr. Byron. Is he not with you? No, the gentleman left directly after his consultation. Oh, he forgot to collect his belongings. Holmes, it seems that Albeit has escaped. Obviously. And he knows that we are aware of his true identity. Quickly. 
I know how to find Oh. I think we gotta go back to the house. Okay. I am mad that I keep getting imprecise character portraits, but I don't get where the chains make sense. Unless he... No, but that doesn't make sense. Because I think it was his right arm missing. So I don't think he would have been able to throw the spears. I just don't get where the chains get involved. That's what confuses me the most. Ugh, keeps bugging me. Okay, let's find his home. My analysis. Okay. okay, let's go search the map. Thanks map, the map, map, map. Hospital, I can now deduce where Albeit is hiding. Map, map, map. You know that Albeit paid a visit to an opium den. Let's find a place in London where all four elements are close to- What are my four elements? I think it's here. Oh, I can do this closer. There we go. Now we need to find a street name ending in O-O-O. So like Brook. Here it is. 21D Brook Street. Watson, I believe we found all bits flat. Let's go find all bits. Yay, we could go straight there. I'm still trying to figure out who killed him. It makes sense that Marley, d but Marley is too superstitious. It makes sense that Charles would have used that superstition, plus albeit being dead. Uh, I feel like there's a missing person in all of this. Do I have any more clues? We'll, we'll get to that later. What should we do next, Holmes? Damn, this is a nice house. Don't make sense for an opium dealer. Or an do you hear that? Quick, we have to open this door. The door's too strong and the lock is too solid to break with bare hands. The door's too Kick strong it! and the lock is too solid to break with bare hands. as quick as we can. These are like a lot of button mashing. Oh, shut up. Yeah, I thought I had more button mash. Oh, shit. This table could serve as cover. Oh. If I cut those ropes, the curtains will fall and block the attackers. Watson, I'll try to reach those curtains to close them. Cover me. Ah! 
Oh! Oh, I can switch back and forth! I did not know that. Okay. Shit. I'm sorry, I don't know how to shoot with an old. Did I do it? Where's he at? The Nash! <laughs> Go work as quick as I can! Oh my gosh, this has more quick action than I thought it would. I'm just talking about the Colt game in general. I feel like I have another quick action along the way. Watson, come here. He's behind the screen. Assailant escaped using this rope. No, oh, shit. Okay. Okay, let's go back, because we're jumping to conclusions, and we can't do that. In the next episode, we're going to figure out what's going on. So, hope you guys enjoyed. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!